Hello, this is Xtal. In this tutorial, we'll be creating a vintage grain FX in Touch Designer. This walkthrough focuses on simulating analog film grain through procedural generation and compositing techniques. The main focus areas are signal layering, noise modulation, and feedback integration. From input normalization and contrast shaping to additive noise blending and final post-processing, we'll analyze how each node contributes to the overall structure while building the effect step by step. Let's get started. Start by importing the base footage using a movie file in top. This node will serve as the primary input for the entire grain composition. Connect the movie file in top to an in top. This connection establishes the input interface for the network, allowing the video stream to be accessed from a parent component or reused inside other operator structures. Add a noise top and connect it to the previous input chain. This node generates the base procedural texture that will later define the intensity and pattern of the grain effect. Keeping the global resolution consistent prevents sampling errors and maintains uniform pixel distribution during feedback and composite operations. Adjust the noise top parameters to refine the base grain texture. Set the type to Simplex 3D for higher quality noise generation and optimize GPU performance. At this stage, focus on achieving a balanced noise structure with clear tonal variation and consistent spatial distribution. To introduce motion into the noise, animate the Translate Z parameter inside the noise top. This continuously offsets the 3D noise field over time, producing a smooth evolving pattern rather than a static texture. Connect the noise to a bloom to refine the tonal balance and add controlled diffusion to the brighter regions of the noise. The bloom amplifies highlights and softens transitions between luminance levels, creating a smoother and more film-like grain distribution.
Insert a function after the bloom output to refine the tonal response of the noise texture. This node is used to apply mathematical operations such as exponentiation and scaling to adjust contrast, luminance distribution, and signal response range. This operation helps normalize the noise signal reducing flat areas while amplifying fine variations in brightness. It ensures that when the grain texture is later composited over footage, it contributes consistent tonal density across the entire frame. In summary, this step defines the optical dynamic range of the procedural noise before merging it with the video source. Connect the processed function top output and the original video input into an add top to merge both layers. The add top performs pixel wise addition, combining the luminance data of the noise with the underlying footage. This effectively embeds the procedural grain pattern into the image while preserving the base color and exposure of the source. Add a level after the compositing stage to fine-tune the overall tonal response and control the transparency of the grain overlay. This final step calibrates the perceived intensity of the procedural grain, ensuring it blends naturally with different lighting conditions in the source video. Add a new noise and set the type to random GPU to generate high-frequency color noise. This layer introduces subtle chromatic variation, simulating the color grain found in analog film stocks. The colored noise acts as a chromatic modulation layer, blending with the base grayscale grain to produce a more authentic filmic texture. Connect a level to the colored noise output to refine tonal balance and reduce opacity for smoother integration with the base footage. In this stage, the level is used to control the gamma, brightness, and opacity parameters to achieve a subtle chromatic texture that complements the primary image rather than overpowering it. Add a composite to prepare for the final merging of all layers, including the base footage, grayscale grain, and colored noise overlay. Add another add top to build the first composite output from the existing grain footage integration. This output will serve as the base layer for additional video overlays or motion reactive blending in the next stage. Duplicate the existing node chain using Ctrl-C, Ctrl-V to create a second independent structure for the new video input.
Insert a mirror top after the function processed noise to introduce spatial symmetry and organic variation within the noise pattern. This step helps transform the previously uniform procedural noise into a more visually complex structure by reflecting portions of the texture across the x-axis. Combine the two independent noise chains using an add top and connect their outputs to the pre-established composite. This stage integrates both the primary grain layer and the secondary mirrored noise layer, resulting in a more intricate visual texture. The goal here is to merge two distinct procedural noise sources, one providing structural grain modulation and the other introducing spatial variation and analog distortion. Connect a null to the final add or composite output to finalize the visual stream. The null acts as a buffer node that stabilizes the output signal, ensuring that any downstream operations such as exporting, further color correction, or additional compositing receive a clean and consistent image. After stabilizing the composite with a null, apply a level to refine the tonal balance of the final output. In this step, the goal is to emulate the soft contrast curve characteristic of vintage film footage, slightly raised midtones, gentle highlights, and reduced shadow density. To finalize the output, Connect the tone corrected image in the following order, resolution out, movie file out. Through this node chain, the network transitions from a procedural compositing structure to a production ready output system. The completed vintage grain FX can now be rendered as an independent video file, preserving both the analog texture and the compositional fidelity of the final image. In this tutorial, we built a complete vintage grain FX system in Touch Designer from input normalization to procedural noise modulation, compositing, and final export. Each stage was designed to maintain signal integrity while adding visual complexity, creating an authentic filmic texture that merges digital precision with analog imperfection. Thank you for following this tutorial. Continue experimenting with parameter variations and compositing techniques to build your own unique analog-inspired looks. This is Xtal, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.